Welcome to SOLIDVIS. You would like to know how to do and visualize multi-layer surfaces like this you see on the screen? Then you are exactly right here because we go step by step through how it works, how it's done, how you can create by your own scratched material, painted material, mix it up or even make a fluent transition between different metals. If you think this sounds interesting for you, then see you in a second. We are talking in Visualize about multi-layer surfaces. It's possible to select over here as soon as you have an appearance. And before we can even jump into it, we need to go into Photoshop to make some preparations exactly to create something like that. So first of all, what you see is that we have some white dots in here. We have a base blue color on the top and this is generated through a blue color which we place on the top and the base color you see here is actually white, some gray. And then we also attached a bump and we work with alpha maps which just indicates the transparency that the metal can look through from the bottom. So this is about what you need to know and let's jump over for the first example. So here we are in Photoshop and the first thing what we need to do, we need a colored layer which we have seen in Visualize. So let's just attach and then I place a second layer on the top and the second layer or even a third layer as a preparation on these two we will create the white color which will indicate the gray from the background the green will be around and then on the second layer we place the alpha map which is just colored with black so first of all switch to white and in this example, I go with a pencil and I use the splatter brushes to simulate the first one. So the only thing what I do for this example is, or I even go back, I make it a little bit smaller because then we can just make small irritations on the ball then. In visualize so I paint, paint some white color which will be the base color of the gray material in there and I even go a bit more around and just go a bit bigger so make some more dots here and the second layer will be filled with black so let's choose the black one and again the same pen but this time we need to go with the alpha layer in this case a little bit smaller so let's paint the alpha map the alpha map will indicate everything which is metal in this case so where the where we paint black the metal will look through so it looks a bit like a scattered color and we also let it over here sometimes look through the color and we have a nice mix of white, black and green and this will be quite good for indicating uh, something like a destroyed metal ball which was colored in green. So. This we have ready, this means fade them out and export it as a PNG. I just go to my tutorial folder, I've prepared here someone, uh, some of them. So example one, I 
could also call it alpha layer one, but too late. So the next one, let's keep it now in the same naming, example two. So only these two layers I exported now as an image and we all are already good to jump over into visualize and I just apply some simple color to it. So let's go up in the library. For example, I go into the paint and this time I take some rough color. No, I don't like it at the moment. That soft touch looks a bit better to me. Or let's even go with the basic, a bit more gray. So this is the baseline, what we have. And we also need to attach the metal, which we want to have some kind of a look through the alpha map. And for this, I just go over to the metal. And what I like the most is the scratched metal. So it gives some scratches on the surface and it fits totally to a broken paint. So we have added these two colors, the basic light and the scratch metal. And now we need to start to work on it. So first we can, for example, start the new appearance go into the general and select the multi-layer and directly add both of them. So the baseline, which is the base material um, of the ball is the scratch aluminium and it already gets the color here. So we need to go and select a second one. And for this, we had the light gray plastic. So add it here too. And now to the light gray plastic, we will need to add the alpha map and the color. So this we cannot do in here. For this, we need directly to go into the basic light. We go to the textures and we add to the texture a color. And the direct C we have, I think, a wrong direction of something. So the color, we have chosen the green one. And you directly see we had a multi-layer, but it still stays like that. So we need to switch the direction and take the green on the top. Or no, it was even correct. I just didn't attach it to the bow. This was the reason. We already see now here, maybe I should color up the environment a bit. Make it a bit more bright and even rotate it to bring the light over here. We see that the gray is looking through now and we already have some kind of a broken color visible here. And what we need now is to place the alpha map on the color to let the metal look through. And this we also attach in the green color. So back to the textures and apply the alpha and directly like that it will be added to the color it will look through and we have a completely different view we have here some it's a little bit of reflection and here we have the full reflection it's the full metal and with scratches which just fits to this kind of paint now and like that we have a very good and fast transition of two materials and also you can do it with color you can do it with rust you can also do it with two kind of metal which i want to show you now so this is also quite fast done we take for example as a baseline the hammered metal which i really like from how it looks and to the hammered metal we just think it was fallen down on the floor and now on some places it has a scratch metal. So we add again the scratch metal and now we can again jump over here. We have 
over here the two base materials again right click new appearance we jump over select the multi-layer and like before the hammered material is the main one or no in this case it's easier to go around because we want to have the hammered material only broken on some places so we take this even when it makes no sense we take the scratched aluminium at the bottom and then the hammered material on the top and the hammered material will be broken on some places so it will get the alpha map like that we go we have the appearance ready for sure now it's perfectly done hammered metal but we will destroy it now with the alpha map and let the scratched metal come through so we can apply exactly the same what we had before and you see the hammered metal has a great transition to the scratched metal and like that it looks a bit like it's it was fallen down we can also rough it up with the scratches or we can apply a other kind bigger broken surface so like that we can do great transitions from one material to another material which is actually quite hard to replicate when you don't have the multi-layer in place so this is about how it works and how it's done and i hope you like what you have seen and I'm really looking forward when you play around with it and maybe also once publish some results with exactly these type of materials. So thanks for listening and hear you soon again. Thanks.